<clears throat> Alright, so we're going to see if we can do this. Uh, so one more stream test. My apologies for the interruptions. This is just like live test is apparently the only way I can get <clears throat> any meaningful information out of YouTube. Uh, so this will be a short stream, and I hope to actually have some work done on Mike Mike here, uh, because I had nothing but problems, and I'm not sure why. It was just the stars were aligned against me having any success. <clears throat> uh, so apparently last time the issue was that the, for some reason, this box, this particular box, does not like the TTYACM0, the, um, the USB serial interface number 0 in particular. Because <laughs> whatever registers as that is not allowed to register as multiple devices. I have no idea why that is the case. I have another Debian box that has the same version on it that does not have this issue, but it's just, it is what it is. <laughs> so, whatevs, yo. Either way, I have this working now, he said, as this failed to- there it goes, okay, see? This is where we're using this to operate this uh, output right here. And we're going to be able to retest this. This music is also going to probably get copy struck, but that's probably better because this is just a kind of a test stream. Uh, but I wanted to do... Combo key. Wombo combo. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so the plan is I have these defines already defined, uh, but I want to add a new feature for combination keys. And that includes presetting some defined keys so that I have some helpful variables here. Come on, there we go. Uh, so that I have some helpful variables for building this uh, this combo key screen screen uh, screen is the, the output that's being generated by this uh, this TTY output so it has these pictures or these uh, menus uh, that you can choose using like Mike in order to build your own macros and stuff so we get uh, all of these movements and things like that that we can do stuff with uh, and then we get to play them back or set the shortcut mode. So I have to build these menus into the code and those menus rely on these uh, these functions in order to keep the code readable. So we've got uh, activity uh, combo key which resolves to 12 which we don't really care about because the code is the only thing that is going to read that 12. We just want something that is uh, somewhat verbose and makes things a little bit more obvious as to what we're what we're messing around with here So we're gonna take Activity combo key and uh, see we've already got co screen set combo key So that's for setting the combo key and I don't think we need any options for combo key Although this kind of looks like No, these must match the options array Hmm keyboard release all let's see sorry I'm just kind of getting back into this code and it's not uh... so there's an options array options main menu options main menu is this just a I guess baby at the gate coming to say hi <laughs> and she awake oh there she is <laughs> she's awake too early and she can get out of bed and she's wandering around so <laughs> uh, my apologies this is probably a solid stream test we can see if this is readable I'll pick this up later uh, 